Hi, so I was asked how to make Hazel and Cha-Cha uh, masks, and typing it out takes way too long, so I'll just try to explain it visually. So, first one, Cha-Cha is way easier to do because he's a cylinder. So pretty much what you're going to do for the body of, you know, the actual head is you take out a big cardboard box and you kind of, you know, break it open so it's just this big, flat, kind of rectangular thing. And then what you'll do is on the top and on the bottom of the rectangle of the cardboard, you'll make kind of one inch slits, you know, all along it. And that'll help you kind of fold the cardboard into a cylinder. And then once you have the slits, you can cut them off on the bottom. Uh, and on top, you kind of bend them in, so it makes the top of the head like that. I mean, it's not going to fit the whole way, so you're going to, I mean, you're going to cover this whole thing with duct tape anyway. So that'll help secure the top, too. And that's the next step, actually, is just coat the thing with blue duct tape. Um, then anything else, really, you can just do with paper. Like, the eyes are paper. The nose is pink duct tape. Then the mouth is just yellow paper. And the hat, you can kind of half-ass, as I have done. Just, you know, some black paper, some white paper, and the little pink ribbon thing. Then the mouth is the most important part, because this is where you're going to see <laughs> and breathe. And this is, if you're like me, your nose is going to stick out a little bit. Um, so you want to get some white stockings and stretch them as tightly as you can across. And then you can, whatever, it doesn't fit in the hole. Oh, by the way, you got to cut this. That's pretty obvious. So, you know, cut the square to where, like, this is on your face. Then just put the white stocking on, tape it on, and then take some permanent marker, and you got it. So, that's pretty simple. Hazel's very hard. <laughs> Hazel. Hazel definitely takes a lot more time. So what you're going to do with Hazel, you're going to cut cardboard strips and kind of fashion um, a little cross, like a curved cross like that. So that's going to be like kind of the uh, ceiling, it's the, the very basic foundation. And you're going to tape them up top, up here. Then you're pretty much going to do this again and again and again, and then kind of tape them all at the bottom. Make sure that the neck hole is big enough to get your head through. So. My advice would be to tape them up top and then tape them, tape the original four so that you know your head's going to fit through them. And that'll get a little easier the more you kind of add on to the cage of the head. And then uh, once you have just like a basic kind of ball shape, you're going to want to do the same thing horizontally. So that's going to take a while. But then uh, once you're done, so once you've gotten like the kind of, like, kind of on a globe, you have the longitude and latitude. That's kind of what you're doing with this thing. So that's the same basic thing. You just coat it with duct tape. You have the little ears with paper. You have the eyes. And the eyes are kind of difficult because you're not going to see through them perfectly. You're going to see out of them kind of like a deer. So kind of like at the side of your head. So you'll kind of always be looking that way. But what you'll do, it's the same kind of thing with Cha-Cha's mouth. You uh, just cut a circle. Then you put black pantyhose tightly under or over and just kind of tape it so it looks like a circle. And then just take some white paper and kind of... I found that uh, just normal tape works. Like, you know, you make a little triangle but then keep it, make it longer, and then just tape over that. And then the mouth is really easy. It's just a little yellow paper. So, uh, as you can see, this fits pretty well. <laughs> And this guy fits pretty well, too. Although, like I said, your nose is going to stick out a little bit. So. Anyway, that's how you make it. So, have fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't get discouraged. It'll take you maybe, uh, if you have all day, like two days. Uh, if, you're on, if you're going to school and stuff, expect maybe like two to four days. So, but it's doable. So, alright. Happy trails.